Are you still thinking about buying the Sony a6400? Are you still not sure if this camera's for you? What are you waiting for? In this video, I'm gonna give you my top five reasons why you need to buy the Sony a6400. And that video is coming up next. But first, my name is Brian the Camera Guy. On my channel, I review camera accessories and Sony gear. More specifically, the Sony a6400. If that's something you're into, consider subscribing down below. And on your way down there, click the like button and comment with what is holding you back from buying the Sony a6400. Also, if you have specific questions regarding the Sony a6400, feel free to DM me on Instagram at Brian the Camera Guy, and I'll be more than happy to talk to you about my personal experience with the Sony a6400. So you're on the fence whether the Sony a6400 is the right camera for you. Well, in this video, I'm gonna give you my top five reasons why you have to buy the Sony a6400. Also, stick around to the end of the video, and I'm gonna give you my bonus tip on how to get better footage to make your video footage look even better. The first feature that I absolutely love about the Sony a6400 is the flip up screen. This is an absolute game changer if you're a solo YouTube creator. I mean, having the ability to monitor yourself from in front of the camera and just be able to reach around like this and change some of your settings is completely awesome. It saves you from buying an expensive monitor. Most monitors will run you about two to $300 but it allows you to flip up the screen, frame yourself, and make all the adjustments that you need from right in front of the camera, which is beautiful because then you can make sure your shutter speed, your aperture, and your ISO are perfectly set. So this way your video looks crispy good. One of the most important things is to make sure that that exposure is just right. And being able to see it from the front of the camera is a heck of a bonus feature and one that I really like about the Sony a6400. The second feature that I absolutely love is the picture profiles. You got picture profile one, which is really good. So if you have no clue how to color grade, this is a great alternative for somebody so you can easily go ahead, create your content, put it right up online. But if you're someone like me, I'd like to use the HLG format, which is picture profile 10. This is the same exact color science as the Sony a7 III. And that camera has been dominating YouTube for the past year. And now you have it available to you in the Sony a6400. So the bottom line, save the money, get the Sony a6400, and you're gonna be very happy with the image that comes out of this camera. The third feature that I absolutely love about the Sony a6400 is how small and inconspicuous this camera is. I mean, you bought this camera because it's a mirrorless body and it's really, really compact. As a mirrorless camera, that's what you're looking for. You're looking to save space, it makes it easier to travel, it makes it easier to vlog if that's something you're into. And also because it's the ASPC sensor, it's even smaller than those full frame bodies. Now don't get me wrong, those full frame bodies are nice, but as you can see here, you can still get some blurry backgrounds, especially if you pair it with a prime lens like the Sigma 16 millimeter F1.4. Currently I have the settings, at F2, and the background doesn't look too bad. I think it looks pretty good. Go ahead and comment down below and let me know what you think of the background. Already we've run through three of the five top features that I absolutely love about the Sony a6400. If you're getting value out of this video, make sure you hit the like button and don't forget to comment with which feature impresses you the most. Don't forget, there are links down in the description, so if you wanna check it out even further, feel free to click those links. I also put down in the description my top five accessories to go along with the Sony a6400. Also, if you have specific questions regarding the Sony a6400, make sure you DM me on Instagram, at Brian the Camera Guy. Let's keep moving along. We got feature number four. This camera is 100% customizable. That means every button on this camera can pretty much be custom set to whatever you think it needs to be. So the Sony a6400 gives you that feature and a lot more. So pretty much every button can be customized in both photo and video, which I absolutely love. So here's an example. When I'm shooting video, I've changed the trash can button into the clear image zoom. That gives me an extra one and a half zoom reach on whatever lens I'm using. So for example, when I'm using the Sigma 16 millimeter F1.4, that turns into a 24 millimeter full frame equivalent. But then I slap the extra one and a half on there if I need it, and it turns into pretty much a 35 millimeter camera, which is really awesome. And you don't lose any image quality by doing this clear image zoom. So like I said, you can pretty much customize every button to fit whatever your workflow is. You're a creator. So let's go ahead and have the Sony a6400 
be the camera that works for you, the creator, not for the guy who built it. If you want me to make a video about what custom settings I use, leave me a comment down below, let me know. And now the fifth feature that I absolutely love about the Sony a6400 is the autofocus system. The autofocus system on this camera is better than the Canon dual pixel autofocus. I mean, this thing locks onto you and doesn't let go. And boy, is it fast. It is very fast. It's touted as the fastest autofocus system in the world right now at 0.2 seconds. That is some lightning fast autofocus. As you can see here, the autofocus is super quick and responsive. I mean, the Sony a6400 has the same autofocus as the Sony a9, and that camera retails for about $4,500. This one, you're gonna get for $900. So you're getting the great color science of the Sony a7 III, and you're getting the autofocus system of the A9, and you're paying $900 for the body. I mean, why are you still waiting? This is a content creator's dream. And those are my top five reasons, but I did promise you a bonus tip, and here is my bonus tip. When you're shooting in Picture Profile 10 HLG, my recommendation is to switch out of the BT2020 and change it to Rec. 709. I find that the 2020 Kodak does make you look a little bit greener. The Rec. 709 does give you a nice pinkish tone. Nobody wants to watch videos from aliens. They want to watch videos from humans. So like I said, you're going to switch it to Rec. 709 just like I'm showing you right now. Now, here's the bonus tip. My recommendation though is to overexpose the footage by a third of a stop. All right, so what you're going to want to do is hit this button right here and just bump it over one notch. And then you're gonna be overexposed by 0.3. Or the other way you can do it is set up your aperture, make sure your shutter speed is at double the frame rate, and then keep changing your ISO until you get to plus 0.3. But my recommendation is to keep that ISO as low as possible. Make sure you don't get over 800 for the ISO, otherwise you're gonna break down when you're doing your color correction. So there you have it, the top five reasons why I absolutely love my Sony a6400 and why I think it is a must buy for anyone who is looking to create YouTube content. If you found value out of this video, make sure you give me a like, subscribe to see more, and don't forget to ring that bell notification. And comment down below whether you're picking up a Sony a6400. If you want to see another video about accessories for this camera, click right here. If you want to see another video from my channel, click right here. Once again, I'm Brian the Camera Guy. Thanks for watching. Then Canon's dual pixel, dual pixel autofocus. Dual pixel autofocus. Dual pixel autofocus. Ha 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 ha! It's not easy to say.